Welcome to iVortex Media's training module for Prime Seller Leads 4.0. In this specific video, we will review the new updates that have taken place to your home market analysis report. This new information is accessible by entering a specific address on the front end of your website or by logging into the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website. In order to see what your lead experience is with the front end of your Prime Seller Leads website, please enter an address and submit the appropriate information in the required fields. After you have completed this process, you then will be taken to the Step 4 option with the new update to the Home Market Analysis Report. In this section of the Home Market Analysis Report, which is instantly produced for a lead that submits their information, you will notice that there's a cleaner layout that has been updated. Also, we have added further information about nearby sold properties, a home market analysis for the specific zip code that lead is looking for, annual home sales for that specific zip code, quarterly home sales, and the Google image of that specific address the lead is looking for. In the first updated section of the new home market analysis report is the nearby sold property. This information is completely customizable within the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website as to which information is populated for that specific user. In a few moments, we will review that information. In the nearby sold property section, each lead has the ability to view which piece of information is most appealing to them. If they do not wish to see a nearby sold property section, they can simply click on the drop down arrow and do the same for the market analysis, annual home sales, or quarterly home sales. All of this information that is populated for a specific leads address is customizable within the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website. To review, the nearby sold property data is based on a specific zip code that the lead looked for. It shows the last 10 sold properties within that specific zip code, the property type, the sold price, lot size, living area and square feet, the sold date, and the year built. Again, this information is customizable in the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website. The next section is the market analysis for the specific zip code that lead look for. They can see the median residential home sale prices for homes over the last 12 months, the median mortgage of debt in dollars, the number of dwellings in the area that are classified as vacant, the number of dwellings in the area that are owned and owner occupied, the number of dwellings in the area that are renter occupied. The next section they can view is the annual home sales for that specific zip code. It'll show each year along with correlating average prices, sales count, and medium home sales. The next section is the quarterly home sales for that specific zip code. They can see each quarter of the previous years along with the average home price, sales count, and medium home sales. The final section of the home value report is the market overview for their specific area and a Google image of their specific home. In order to access, update, customize, or personalize this information for a lead, then please log in to the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website. In order to update the information that is displayed when a lead searches for a property, please log in to the back end of your Prime Seller Leads website. From there, hover your cursor over Settings and click Step 4 Sold Property Comps. 
In this area, you can either turn on or off the new information being displayed on the step four of the home market analysis report. To turn it off, click this section and off, or if you'd like to turn it on, then click this section and turn it on. In this section, you can choose the minimum mile radius for that specific lead search, which is based on their property address. In this section, you can update this value all the way up to two miles out. In the next section, you can update the maximum radius for this search. So if you'd like to include properties from a specific zip code, then you can choose one mile or 0.5 miles, any of those values, or you can go all the way up to 20 miles out of your specific property that that lead is looking for and have that information populate on the form. Another feature is that you can control the ability of the dollar value of what you want to appear uh, for the market overview information. On the sold property comp section, in the maximum dollar value comp section, you can put on a numerical limit which populates on the report for that specific lead. So with this number, 500,000, that means that properties $500,000 and under will be shown within the home market analysis report. In the minimum dollar value section, you can set the number as to what information you want to be displayed on the report. Between these two numerical values, it states that only homes between $100,000 and $500,000 will be populated on the report that's shown on the home market analysis to that specific lead. The next section is the priority. You can either choose to show recent sold properties in their market based on the sales date or distance from that specific leads property. Also, you can have information represented based on the property type. If it's residential single family home, a condo, residential multifamily home, type unknown, or a residential co-op unit. Once you are happy with the step four sold property comps, then please click save. In order to update the appearance of the step four option, which is the home market analysis report, please hover your cursor over settings and select step four video options. In this area, you can choose between different themes for the home market analysis report. The first theme is a report that does not have a video. Steps two through four are different themes as to where that specific video will appear. By choosing any one of these themes, you can enter the video embed URL code here and choose if you want that video to autoplay. Once you are happy with the theme you have selected, then please click save. If you would like the ability to send the home market analysis report via email, then please hover your cursor over settings and choose step four options. In the step four options section, you can turn on the ability to have the home market analysis report be emailed to leads who provide correct email information. In order to turn it on, please click the box and select yes. In order to save these features, please click the green save button. If you have decided to email your leads the report they receive, then the last piece of information you'll have to update is the specific template for that email that is being sent out. In order to access this information, please hover your cursor over drip email and then click manage email templates. From there, please choose the template Home Market Analysis Report. In order to edit and update this information, please click the pencil located in the far right Actions column. Once you have clicked the Edit Pencil, the Edit Email Template for the Home Market Analysis Report will load. 
you are able to update the wording of this, but we highly suggest not touching or changing any of these specific codes. The codes are identified by a curly bracket, uppercase lettering, sometimes accompanied with an underscore, and another curly bracket. These codes populate the specific information associated with them. For site URL, it populates the specific website name of your prime seller leads domain. In the agent contact number code, this information populates your specific contact information. In the signature section, this code populates the signature on file for your prime seller leads website. If you want, you can update any of the other wording, but we highly suggest leaving the codes alone. If you would like to add any other codes, you can access that information with the email snippets in the top right corner. Each snippet is pretty self-explanatory. For first name, it populates that lead specific first name on file, their email address, the date they came across, and so on and so forth. The information that is populated on this email that is being sent out is accessible in two areas. The first area is associated with your email signature, which is accessible through your agent profile. The second section is going to be with on the set page content section and accessing the step four options. In order to update your email signature that will be sent out to leads receiving this information, please hover your cursor over agents and then manage agents. From there, please click on the edit pencil associated with the specific agent signature you'd like to update. In order to update this information, it will be in the signature section on the bottom left corner. From there, you add your information, click yes in add signatures to emails, and then click save. From here, anytime the signature code is used from sending an email through our system, your specific agent information will be populated in that section. The final area to update for the new home market analysis report is accessible by hovering your cursor over settings and clicking set page content. From this section, please click on step four in order to update how the home market analysis report appears. Earlier in this training video, we chose between the different themes we'd like to use for this. Also, we've gone through and customized which information we would like to appear on the report. As far as the verbiage, images, and other icons associated with the report, you are able to update this information within the set page content section of step four. You now can remove the sold logo by clicking the X and clicking OK. Although this appears gray, it just shows that this no longer will be appearing on the home market analysis report located within the front end of your website when a lead searches for a specific property. In order to turn it back on, please click the green button. Also, you can update the verbiage of step four by clicking on any one of these fields editing the information you need to. You can change the background color of the font or the foreground color, which is the actual font color. Also, you can update the font size or select a specific style of font. From there, you just click Save. Also, you can update the photo on file for the home market analysis report. By clicking on the photo, choosing the specific file you'd like to add, clicking on it, and then click Save. From there, you can also change your video link if you'd like to upload a different video to the Step 4 option, which is the Home Market Analysis Report. If you'd like to remove the Home Estimate Price Range, then you can click this X, or if you'd like to remove the nearby sold property area, you can also click this X. Even though you may remove this, you're still able to turn this feature on in the future. 
perfect. You are all set with customizing, branding, and editing the specific features associated with the home market analysis report that is instantly shown to any lead that submits property and contact information on the front end of your prime seller leads website.